This Coke is kosher, meaning it has the American Coke flavor profile, but it's sweetened with cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. But if I test it with a glucose meter and then do some quick math, I'm getting 18 grams of glucose per liter in the bottle. And that is weird, because glucose in sodas usually comes from high fructose corn syrup, which is mostly fructose and glucose. Cane sugar, on the other hand, is mostly sucrose, which is also glucose and fructose, but they're chemically bound together. This means it's a whole other molecule, it is not just a mixture. In fact, a solution of pure sucrose registers zero on the glucose meter. But high fructose corn syrup is not on the ingredients list, and from what I've seen, the bottling of kosher Coke is especially strict. So why is there glucose in here at all? Turns out there's a chemical reaction that starts the moment the Coke is made. Phosphoric acid can break this bond, producing fructose and glucose, and the glucose is what I'm seeing on my meter. Now, of course, I tracked the breakdown over time to estimate when the Coke was bottled. Now, I could model this as a pseudo first order reaction and do a bunch of fancy math, blah, 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 or I could do it the old fashioned way. Here's my prediction. Uh, okay, if anyone knows how to convert this to an actual production date, let me know in the comments.